Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video is going to be about the LEGO EV3 Venus Flytrap. Now, I'll be honest, they call it the flower, but I'm like, come on, this thing is a Venus Flytrap. The students are just going to go crazy over a Venus Flytrap, not necessarily the flower, but I will stick true to the name. It's a flower, but it's a Venus Flytrap. So if you want to see everything about this project, stay with me. No, Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so I will leave you in the description the link to this awesome EV3 build. It's a pretty quick build, but look at this thing. This dude is awesome. And so it is going to be in that link. It's a very short build. I'm not sure on the pages, maybe 88. Um, but what's really cool is what this thing does when it's programmed. I will also leave you the link to the program for this thing, too. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you what it looks like, where the cables go, and then definitely the magic of when this thing is programmed. So let's go ahead and take a look at just the Venus flytrap. Okay, guys, here it is. The Venus flytrap. So here is the mouth. I like how it can open and close. You can have your students put some of those blue connectors right in here and make it look like it has teeth. And there's the flower part looking to it. Here is the stem. So let's go ahead and first talk about the cables here. So we have two sensors going on here. This color is going to be in three and the touch up here is going to be in one. And this thing is only running off this one media motor right here and that's going to be going into A. So pretty easy and you know short on the cables there or motors and sensors. So let's go ahead now and take a look at how this thing really looks and operates. Okay, so right now I have on my phone, I have my light on. And so this is light activated. So when this shines into the color sensor, it, it makes it open up. So let me do that to you. Let me see if I can back away. Let me see if I can back away and have you guys see that again. So we get close enough and let me see if I can back away so you guys can see this. And then when the unsuspecting fly or insect comes and lands on this touch sensor right there, right there, it causes it to snap shut and to digest whatever was inside there. Yeah, here we go. This fly is unsuspecting. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I don't think he's smiling anymore. Fly lands in there. Eaten up. So what you can do in this project is definitely make the science connection and tie in with the real Venus flytrap where it can sense. The Venus flytrap has these tiny little hairs where it can sense the vibration and movements just like the touch sensor did and then be able to send that signal for the plant to close up. So you can also make that tie in to us, you know, when we feel something with our fingers that would come up to our brain to tell us, hey, that something's hot, let's move away. So there's a lot of great science connection with this Venus flytrap. That's why I really love this project where it's not only just robotic, but it's also scientific where the students can make those connections to other things. Okay, guys, so I love this build. I love the science connection where you can just, you know, refer back to the whole process of how the Venus flytrap attracts its prey, eats its prey, digests its prey, and it's all robotic. So it's really neat when students can see the connection between something that doesn't necessarily, you know, have robotics tied to it. But when they can see the robot, then they can go, oh, I completely now... I can see the connection because I've seen it two different ways here. So this guy is awesome, okay? All right, guys, hopefully you like the Venus flytrap. 
not really the flower. And I will see you guys on my next video. I am Mr. Hino from Missionals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.